What's going on with y'all, man? Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with ya. Boy. I will have my overreaction tonight. Tonight, I will be having that. So, put the phone put the phone down right there because I'm eating and I don't want you guys to see the food in my mouth. Now, everybody gets upset with Tom Brady because people are like, well, they changed the rules for you. They did. The arm um, leg tackle, which on him was a legal hit, but the leg tackle on Carson Palmer wasn't. Um, That changed it, but it wasn't just Tom Brady. Um, Aaron Rodgers, because of his broken clavicle, you couldn't land on the quarterback no more because he's brittle. So they took away that rule, like landing on the player. That's why you got all this. When you tackle, you got to slide off to the side. But nobody brings that up with Aaron Rodgers. They just hate Tom Brady. Um, Tom Brady told the truth. It's like the Stephen C. Smith is that look. Guys aren't allowed to do certain things. They're not allowed to. Defenders can't really make their mark because they're so... Um, policed against look at Kareem Jackson Kareem Jackson dove face mask first into Josh Dobbs chest in the pocket if that was any white quarterback or any top if that was any top white quarterback not going to say every white quarterback because they don't care about Mac Jones. <laughs> they hate him. But if this was Justin Herbert or, you know, um, Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, it would have been a flag thrown, correct? Flag would have been thrown everywhere. So they basically suspended him for five games. <laughs> it's like, why? If you would have threw the flag the first time, it would have helped out a lot for the Vikings in that situation. But no, they, they couldn't do that. They got to have Russ and the Broncos come back. They they got to tell that story. They got to help Sean Payton out because Sean Payton ain't doing it. And in that game, he almost cost them the game. Now... Now, Brady is trying to let everybody know that the product of football is terrible. And he's right. Whatever you think about Tom Brady, that's how you feel. But you can't take away when he actually is saying something right. The product is bad. It's bad coaching. But who's been saying this? It take for Carcino or, or Kwame Brown or somebody who has a lot more subscribers than me for you guys to even listen to me or even listen to what I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you, dog, the product is bad. The fundamentals are bad. I showed y'all on film that... 90% of the plays that are are that people are getting scored on or or getting a lot of yards on is bad technique and bad fundamentals and bad alignment. All three different things. But people will listen to Sino, or if they don't listen to Sino, they'll listen to somebody like um what's his name? Um Kwame or, or, or anybody. You 
don't know, they'll just listen to whoever. Or they'll listen to Stephen C. Smith or Shannon Sharp. The only guy I really listen to is Keyshawn Johnson, because Keyshawn sees it how I see it, is that the game is broken. And it is. When Bucky Brooks said that asinine and comment about this is the golden era receivers, I'm like, dog, are you kidding me? These receivers are barely able to catch the ball or run a route. It's only a few guys that run routes good. And I'm going to do my video and tell you the receivers that run routes good. And then you'll be astonished that some of your favorite guys aren't on that list. So, I don't want to hear that shit. Now, the product defensively, like he was mentioning guys like Ray Lewis, Rodney Harrison, and them guys... Every hit they would have done today would have been a penalty. But this is what I'm saying. They would have been able to adapt to this era because they are fundamentally sound. If you put Ray Lewis in this era, Ray Lewis probably an average 15 to 18 tackles a game. Easy. Probably more. Because there's no fullback. So Ray like, oh, you ain't got no fullback? Easy. The players from the yesteryears can adjust to the rules because they're fundamentally sound. You guys think they can't because of the hard hits they present, but no. The older players could play in this era. They're fundamentally sound. If you have fundamentals and you have skill, you can play in any era, sir. goes for baseball, basketball, hockey, anything, football, any sport. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. You guys have got to stop paying attention to stats. The stats in this era do not compare to those back in the day. If this game was the same as it was in the 80s or 90s. You think LeBron would have played for this long? No, because he barely could take physicality now. So this is what I'm trying to say. You, you guys don't put context on stuff. You guys just go out there thinking everything you're saying is right. Y'all be like, year 21, year 21. Look what he's doing. Because he's putting up some stats. He put up all them stats, right? And they won by one point against the Houston Rockets, a more inferior team. And they had 29 free throws to their team. And you mean to tell me that's goat shit? Like, come on, stop playing. You got Jason T, big-eyed ass on the um, on the podcast talking about my bad, goat James, my bad, all sucking his stick. It's like all these players, all they do is suck each other off now. There's no critic, there's no criticism anymore. Because the power that he has, because he's a crybaby. Now Tom Brady, yeah, Brady used to get calls, you'd be like, what the hell? But Brady had game winning drives as well. He set Benny Thierry up to win. He did. If it weren't for him, could Benny Thierry kick that kick? No. If Bill Belichick's defense didn't choke at least four of those Super Bowls, do you think he would have been undefeated? Yeah. Wes Welker dropped the damn pass. 
They tried to blame it on Brady. I'm like, how? Brady threw it and hit his hands, right? That's on him. But I told everybody Wes Welker was overrated. You saw that when he went to the Broncos to play with Peyton. So, all I'm saying is, the game is not fun to watch. Last night's game was atrocious. It was bad fundamentals, bad technique by the Eagles defense. The Eagles, the Eagles allowed, the Eagles allowed those guys, in my opinion, to be in the game. The Chiefs should never have had no 17 points. I'm just being real. They shouldn't have. The reason they scored was because of, well, what we say? Lack of communication, bad reads, blown coverages, blown assignments. You know? But, because you guys are the fan, y'all don't understand the shit. Like Magic Man last night. Sorry about that, y'all. Like Magic Man last night. Trying to say they unstoppable. I'm like, really? I thought the cheese last year in the second half of the season was way better than this team. Because they had a great balance. Now... They run the ball, and then they get away from the run. They don't have any more balance. When the Chiefs became a balanced team in the second half of the um the season, excuse me, they were tough to beat. And that's what I said to C-Pen. We and C-Pen argued about it before the season. I said, C-Pen, y'all didn't start taking off until your running game came alive. That's when y'all started taking off. Y'all weren't taking off with Pat. Pat has been terrible, dawg. Like, look. Now, yesterday's game, Pat actually did pretty good. He actually played a pretty good game, but he still lacks what I call fundamentals. If Patrick Mahomes had fundamentals and had a real good technique, a lot of those throws that he overthrew guys or he threw to the side of them, they would have been better. Now, the two drops by Watson and the um, Scantling guy, yeah, that's on them. That should have been 14. Or, I mean, the, 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 the Watson should have been a first down. That play that Scantling had should have, been, um, a, a, should have been a touchdown. But other parts of the game, Patrick Mahomes was looking real shaky. Real shaky. And you don't believe me, go back and watch it. Some of those throws he was trying to throw, um, he was trying to sidewind that bitch. That ain't work. He was missing them. He missed Kelsey on some throws. Kelsey was dropping stuff because it was the rain. You guys don't understand in rain weather, it is hard to catch the ball. That is why you need to run the ball. This is why I keep telling y'all Andy Reid don't know what the hell he doing. But I'm doing too much on overreaction on week 11. I'm going to break it down to you on overreaction week 11 tonight. And you guys are going to understand what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you guys the blown coverage by the Philadelphia Eagles. The Chiefs should have never had seven points. I mean, six points. But because of lack of communication and lack of fundamentals, lack of awareness, they got those two. They got those two touchdowns. Not their fault. Eagles' fault. But 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 um. But Tom Brady is absolutely correct. The game is terrible. The fundamentals are terrible.
know, the fundamentals, you know, were, were good. But, you know, Tom Brady, you know, that's why I was trying to tell, um, that's why I was trying to tell, um, guys, man, like the fundamentals now, everything is bad. The linebackers are terrible. They done took the linebackers out the game. They got these damn safeties playing, um, linebacker now. They got these safeties playing linebacker. They don't have no more fullback. They only put the tight end down there to be the fullback. It's terrible. You got Travis Kelsey out here talking about retirement because he's been playing so ass the past two years. But everybody trying to tell me this guy's one of the best because Shannon's... I'm like, Shannon, shut your ass up. He wasn't on your level. He wasn't on Gates' level. He wasn't on Gonzalez' level. He wasn't on Gronk's level. Like, stop it. Y'all got to stop overrating these damn players and just put them in their own category. He's a great receiving tight end. He's a great receiving tight end. He's just a receiver. He's not a tight end. He's a receiver. And I said that plenty of times. Like, he's not a tight end. He's a receiver. He's just built like a tight end, but he's not a tight end. He's a receiver. He don't have the technique of fundamentals of a tight end, and he can't block for shit. That's one thing I give Mark Andrews. He can block. Andrews could block his ass off. So now that he's gone, you know, now I think the offense for the Ravens are open up, but this is the stuff that I'm trying to explain to people is like, look, y'all have got to understand football. Y'all got to stop living, living in fantasy land, thinking this is thinking this is great because of a stat. Dog. Y'all got to stop being statisticians. Statisticians are basically or statisticians or whatever you call them, nerds, them bastards with them four eyes. Look, you, you it don't matter. It's about how you play on the field. It's about your impact. Like I said, a guy who could be in the, in the like Draymond Green puts up bad numbers, but his impact is second to none. And you're seeing it when he's not on the court. The impact of Lamar Jackson, you guys see it when he's not on the field. They're not an efficient offense when he's off the field, and that's the facts. But you guys, but the owners and some of you fans out there were trying to say he's not good. He don't deserve his money. He's a running back. I'm like, how is he a running back and he won the MVP, nigga? He had the best passer rating that year, stupid. <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? You know, people hate somebody so much, they got to make an argument to go against them. But then when you make a real argument about their king, their fake ass king in basketball, they want to cry like bitches. You know, it is what it is. Like they always bring up Kobe Bryant missing a bunch of shots. Yes, he missed the most shots, dumbass, because he's played almost 20 some years. He's going to have a lot of missed shots, just like LeBron. Why does LeBron leave in most turnovers? Why? Magic Johnson and them didn't lead in turnovers like that. And don't tell me LeBron ain't no point guard because that's all he plays is point guard. He always play at the top of the damn key, bringing the ball up. It's only a few times he'll play without the ball. And he don't do nothing. He goes sit in that corner. Or he wait by the post or he tries to get a mismatch on a little guard and then try to get the ball in the post from somebody. It's like, come on, man. It's like people so brainwashed, dog. Y'all niggas don't know nothing. That's why I was surprised about my boy Christopher Moore. That's when I knew he was a bitch-ass nigga, dog, from that. That's when I realized it, man. I was like, dog, I thought you was a real nigga, dog. You from D-Town. You from, D -town. You from Dallas. You you a real you supposed to be a real ass dude and then you gonna defend this sorry ass bastard? That's when I said, man, I should have known anyway. Cause he seemed like the type of nigga to do that to fall for the okie doke. He like my cousin Travis. They fall for the okie doke. <laughs> they fall for the um 
the the, the sprinkles on shit. <laughs> Here's a good piece of shit with sprinkles on it. Eat it. <laughs> that's what they do. I'd say it to their face. That's what they do. My boy Rick Turner the same way. Me and him ain't cool because of that. Because I be I tell the truth about Bron. And I tell him, I'm like, dude, you good at you good at muscles and working out. That's what you know. When it comes to this basketball and football, I told him, dog, you don't know shit, bro. You really don't. Because you're not watching the game as it is. This guy don't play nothing on the defensive end, but he's great, dog. If you play one side of the ball, you're not in the top 75, bro. I'm sorry. You're not there. <laughs> you're not in mine. I don't care what the consensus say. The consensus is tell the consensus telling your ass to eat all this processed food and shit, and y'all niggas doing it. So I guess they right then, huh? <laughs> the consensus is telling you to put your kid in public school, right? <laughs> they telling they, they telling your ass to eat healthier, but the consensus is voting to put McDonald's and all this stuff in the in the poor neighborhoods and not put no no real good um healthy foods in the in the in the grocery stores you getting all the processed shit so that's what i'm saying y'all guys listen to cuz i don't listen to everybody i do my own research i listen to what you say i take it i'll be like bet and then i go research what i got to research man will y'all walk across the street dog if you trying to smash this chick dog get her to the car God damn, dog! They be over here. They skipping down the damn street. He trying to holler at the chick. Look, man, get to the car. <laughs> but yeah, I lost a lot of friends, a lot of people over the stuff that I say or feel, and I be like, I don't give a shit. Bye, y'all niggas. One, <laughs> I'm like Kobe, nigga. You want that shooting with me in the gym, <laughs> nigga? Shit. You went out here making sure I was straight, man. Like, stop playing. Like, stop, stop playing. Hold up, could I park right there? Oh, no. Nah. Oh, I could park right there, bitch. That's cool. Hold on, y'all. Hold on real quick, y'all. Gotta get my parallel parking on. I hope I don't hit that. I shouldn't hit him. I'm going wait. I'm way for far from here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boom. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. But I'm not domino. I got the fun flow to make the draws drop slow. So that's just how it is, guys. You know. It's no disrespect. It's just the truth. Tom Brady telling the truth out there. He told the truth to Stephen C. Smith. And y'all know what the C stand for. He ought to be called Stephen Bitch Smith. But, um, yeah. But the game is terrible now. Um, it lacks a lot of heart. The fundamentals are gone. Everything is about the betting line. And the games have just been terrible because of betting lines and people being too much of statisticians instead of actually watch the game. Thank y'all for listening, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit that notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if y'all do love what you hear, you can donate to the page. Go to my description box. Hit that link to my cash app to donate whatever your hearts desire. And you guys can um, find me on Zelle. And you guys can also um, super chat when we go live or premiere video. Or you leave a super thanks. Thank you for listening. I'm out. I'll do my overreaction week 11 tonight. Deezy.